Hi everyone, I'm Stacy with Banzai Keto. Today I'm making a sweet treat. We've tried this recipe a couple times. It is a chocolate crinkle cookie and we've messed with it a little bit to make it what we like. It's a little too sweet for Bill, so we've cut down on the sweeteners and I've added some chocolate chips to his. The ingredients you'll need to get started are going to be almond flour, swerve granular and confectioner sugar, xanthan gum, we are using the Bake Believe chocolate chips, vanilla, unsweetened cocoa, four large eggs, baking powder, and unsalted butter. Now we're going to start mixing the ingredients. We have two cups of almond flour. Just shy of one and three-fourths cup of the Swerve granular sugar. It's actually one entire bag. One cup of unsalted butter. I have it at room temperature because it makes it mix it a little bit better. One cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Don't stand too close when you're pouring it in. The two teaspoons of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of vanilla that smells wonderful. And a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And last but not least, four large eggs. Let's get mixing. We have our oven preheating at 350 degrees. Now we're going to mix our ingredients and head on to the next step. So a few tips on mixing because it's a lot of ingredients that are in there. My butter, as I said earlier, is room temperature. And then I also sliced it into pats to make it a little bit easier to mix evenly throughout the mixture. You'll, you'll definitely see the rising um, of the powder as I was mixing. Just don't get too close because it'll make you sneeze. So back in December 2018, my husband and I started keto. Prior to that, the only baking that I really did was homemade chocolate chip cookies or oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and I always used my Cuisinart Big Mixer. When we start doing all these recipes, fathead pizzas, breads, cookies, which are some of my favorites, I needed a mixer that was enough power to get going, so Bill bought me this beautiful orange KitchenAid um, from Amazon. If anybody knows Amazon. If not, talk to my husband. Uh, but it's been fantastic. Lots of speeds and super easy to adjust and put away. I took the entire batch and split it in two. This is going to make approximately 24 cookies. So I'm going to do 12 cookies rolled in the confectioner sugar. And I'm going to do the other 12 cookies with chocolate chips in it. So I have my half batch here and I'm going to make the first 12 cookies. Separating them down like I do helps me get the sizing so that I don't have a few ginormous cookies and then small cookies, then I feel cheated when I have to eat the small one. <laughs> Your hands are gonna get a little bit messy. It's okay, it turns out wonderfully. So you roll it in a ball, roll it in the sugar, usually kind of pat it down a little bit, and then you place it on. I've got 12 balls formed and rolled in my confectioner sugar. One of the other steps that I like to take is to flatten it down 
like a peanut butter cookie. I like it flatter versus the ball. Your preference. We are set and ready to bake our cookies. Again, oven is preheated at 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake these for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. Now let's get started on the chocolate chocolate chip portion. Now I bet you thought I forgot about the chocolate chips, but I didn't. We're gonna have about a half a cup of chocolate chips. We're gonna mix in to the other half of my batch of dough. Bill doesn't like it mixed with the confectioner's sugar. He says it's too sweet. I say it's perfect. So we do chocolate chips for his. I'm gonna mix them up. All right, this is the second batch that's going to make 12 cookies. These are gonna be chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. And again, I've sectioned these out into four pieces to make it even cookies. And it just easier for me. Now that these are done, again, we're going to bake them at 350 degrees for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. This was an original recipe that we tried from Greg and Stacy over at Keizu Keto. Fantastic cookies. I liked them the way they were. They were a little bit too sweet for Bill. So in general, I knocked down the swerve from two cups to just shy of a cup and uh, three fourths. And instead of putting his in the Swerve Confectioner's Sugar, I went ahead and deleted that from his, kept it in mind because I like it, and then I added the chocolate chips for him. Our timer just went off. We are just shy of 20 minutes. Let's get the cookies out and see how they look. Look wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and get Bilson. We're gonna put these cookies on a cooling rack, let them cool down and wait for bills to cook and then we'll do a taste test. My cookies have been cooling while the others are baking. My timer is just about ready to go off. We're gonna pull those out of the oven right now. So we're all done, 24 cookies. These are rolled in Swerve confectioner sugar and these have chocolate chips in them. I'm gonna try some of his. He's not gonna try any of mine. We're gonna taste test them when they're cool. Many hours later. So our cookies have cooled and we have them plated and are ready to taste. And if you didn't notice, it's a little darker outside than when we started earlier. We kind of got sidetracked today. A couple things that had come up, it's Stacy's day off, and we kind of had to run in a few other directions. But we are back, and we're finally able to look and try our cookies. And if you split the plate down the middle, you'll see Stacy's uh, are made with the confectioner sugar on them. Yes. I don't prefer that extra sweet step, so mine are minus the confectioners. But we tried some milk chocolate chips in them just as another variety. Yes, sir. So this is the best part about these recipe videos because I get to taste test the food. He gets so, to swoop in at the end and taste it. And taste it. <laughs> so let's try a cookie. These are my little chocolate chippy ones with a milk chocolate. I'm not gonna do that, bite me. That's a good cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's good. It's so much better when you reduce the swerve, the sweetener. 
Mm-hmm. See, that's way too sweet for me, I think. Not for me. I mean, I like them. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. And then the chip just adds a different, makes you almost feel like you're cheating on keto because you get a chocolate chip in there and you're like, ooh. Yeah. It it's a be... nice bite to the cookie. Yeah. It doesn't have like a snap. I think it'd be great with the holidays coming up too. If you were to make this and prepare it and bring it with you, <laughs> that way you don't blow it for yourself. But you can also introduce some other people and say, hey, look, this doesn't even have sugar. In it. You know, maybe grandma or grandpa or an aunt or somebody that can't do the sweets. Like mm-hmm. my grandma and my mom could never do the sweets either. So, right. so, so bring something like this might actually maybe not turn them on to keto, but be appreciated by somebody who can't have the sweets. I don't know if we didn't tell them it was a keto cookie that they would be able to tell. I don't think so. Because there's definitely the sweetness and there's mm-hmm. the richness of the chocolate chip in there. Definitely something that would fill a craving like for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are once in a while cookie for me. But um, Stacy's always got this sweet tooth. So when we sit down and watch TV or something, she always wants something a little sweet. Now, the macros for these and the full ingredient and uh, recipe will mm-hmm. be in the description below of this video as well as on bonsaiketo.com. So you can always check it out there and go back and print it out or reference it for your macros and whatnot. But these end up being great. There's 24 cookies in a batch. And like we did, we split these 12 and 12. So she'll have her own little box. I'll have my own little box. We'll see who lasts longer. Mine will last a while. His will last longer. They'll probably freeze them. That's exactly. I put two to three in a baggie and I put them in the freezer because I just want them to stay fresh. And I only pull them, you know, once every week or two. I'll pull out a bag and eat a little bit. I just nibble, you know, like a little birdie. I nibble. (laughs) She never knows what I'm going to say. So we don't talk about this stuff. We just kind of do it. So, but that's the fun part. And, uh, no, I do like my little cookies that I'll uh, pull one here and there and have a little snack or I call it a treat. But Stacy really loves her sweets. So to have this for her works good. It does. The only bad thing is I want milk with it. But I'm I'm pretty good. I just actually stick with my water. You could try some um, almond milk. Yeah. Okay. Because I like to guzzle milk. <laughs> guzzle. <laughs> no. So it's it works out really well. And on mine, like I They're said, pretty. I just did the like a peanut butter cookie. Yeah. It just course. gives it the first time we did it, we had it in a ball and I didn't like it so much in the ball and I don't know why it tastes the same. Um I just Oh yeah, they were Yeah. I guess yeah. for me I just feel like I get more cookie. Sure, you get more bites. I get more bites. Because if you do the the ball, you're going to go exactly bite. And then this, you're going to get like four or five or six bites out of it. It's the same amount of cookie. (laughs) Just No, you're right. Flattened out. And and it looks pretty that way too. Hey, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And if this stretches it out and you can get more cookie for the the mile, you know, that's the way you do it. (laughs) So thanks for hanging out with us. And I hope you like this and I hope you try this. If you do, let us know in the comments below because we'd love to hear how you liked it. It it mixed really well with that little hand mixer I got for you. I love that hand mixer. And I got my favorite color, orange. So, um, (laughs) but no, that really helps. Yes. And uh, mixing it up real good because that was probably the hardest part about this. Yeah, that was the two-handed mix uh, because of the butter. There's a whole cup of butter in there. Yeah. Um, When I watched you doing the ingredients and stuff, I'm like, gosh, I could even do that. Which is scary. You can make me cookies. I, I will make you cookies. I'll try. I'll yeah. And we always mix up our recipes and we change things around. I would still even reduce the swerve sweetener a little bit for me. You would? You know? Yeah, you were at two cups and you went to one and just under just one, shy and three quarter. of one and three quarters. And yeah. I would maybe try one and a quarter. That That's just me because I just, it's, a, it's sweet and it tastes good and I like it. But I would like it to be less, a little less sweet. sweet. Yeah, yeah, maybe one and a quarter cup. Bill, being a diabetic, has never been really big with the sweets. Never. never. Um, unlike me. Yeah. What can I say? I can't help it. Yeah. Never been a sweets person. But the cookies are good as a treat. Here and there, I'll have one or two. And now and then. And, uh, and, and these are wonderful. So, yeah. And as we keep reducing that swerve, it'll, it'll uh, I think it'll... We'll hit my, your sweet spot. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll, fit, we'll find my good spot. I think it's going to be more like one and a quarter. Yeah. That's just my personal preference. You guys might say, oh, that's too bland. And I know you. <laughs> so she'll be like, no, we're making two batches. 
That's okay. We'll have his and hers, right? That's right. His and hers. So thanks again for hanging out with us. And if you like what you saw, subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. And when we come back with other recipes and whatnot, you'll be notified. Absolutely. Thanks Thank again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.